Okay, the first step to a single replacement reaction is simply recognizing it as a single replacement reaction. You can see that here by when we have a element right here, something by itself, and a compound. So only it's divided into two parts, so right here it's ALBR3. In this case, um, the first thing you have to check is you look at this lone thing right here and see if it's positive or a negative. If it, it, right here it's Na, so it's sodium, it's a positive. We look at the table, it's a plus one, we look at the periodic table. Al, Al, on the other hand, so we have to, if we have a positive over here, we have to look at which one's positive in the compound. In this case, Al is positive and it's a plus three. So we look at, we then look and compare sodium and aluminum. Since they're metals, we look at this chart here. It's on page 333 in your book, if you uh, aren't aware of that. And we would look at the chart and look at both sodium, which is right there, and aluminum, which is right there. We see that sodium is more reactive than aluminum, meaning this right here is more reactive than this. So what it's going to do is it's going to take the place of aluminum. So it's going to kick off aluminum from the bromine, so we're going to end up with NaBr. Remember, we've got to balance charges out. Br is 1 minus. Sodium is 1 plus, so those balance out. Plus, what's left over is the aluminum that got kicked off right there. So the answer to that one would be NaBr plus Al. Now let's try another one of these. Suppose we had something like uh, KOH, potassium hydroxide, plus, actually let's not do that one, let's clear that one, let's do K. F, potassium fluoride, plus, um, let's do Cl2, so chlorine. We're going to see what that goes to. In this case, we look, and we look at the lone one right there, compare it to over here. See, we have two parts and one part, so that makes it a single replacement reaction. This, in this case, the lone one is a minus one charge, so we have to look at the negative one on this side, and F is the negative on this side, so it's a negative one as well. So we know chlorine is going to try to replace the F. But in the case of uh, the negatives, you look at the periodic table. Whichever one's higher up is the more reactive one. In this case, F is higher up on the periodic table than Cl, and so F is more reactive than Cl, and Cl cannot replace F, and so in this case, it would be no reaction. So remember, the, if the lone one's going to replace the one in the compound, it has to be more reactive than it. In this case, it's not more reactive than F. And so well, that's single replacement reactions for you.